So we spoke about 10 strikers that Arsenal could have signed in the summer. But what about defensive midfielders? In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 defensive midfielders that Arsenal could have signed. At number 10, Victor Wanyama. Big, imposing defensive midfielder who plays for Southampton. We know he handed in a transfer request and that he really wanted to leave Southampton, rumoured to be for Spurs. But if Arsenal would have come in with a big and bold offer, surely they would have been able to dislodge him and move him to Arsenal. Wanyama, a chance missed. At number nine, my old friend, Sammy Kadira. Remember me going on about him all last summer? He got an injury and was out for Real Madrid for ages, but he came back. Now, he's moved from Real Madrid to Juventus on a free transfer. Come on, Arsenal. Surely he could have done a job for Arsenal. Maybe not your typical defensive midfielder, but can definitely play that deep line playing position and is a good playmaker. Would have been a great suit for Arsenal. At number eight, Lucas Silva. Real Madrid only just signed him last year and he is a fantastic player. They're speaking about this guy in Brazil very, very highly. Moved to Marseille on a season-long loan. Why didn't we go in for him? They needed to get rid of um, him to get him off of their books. If Arsenal would have put a substantial offer in or maybe even tried to get him on loan, he would have been a magnificent addition to Arsenal's team. At number seven, this guy I think would have been perfect for Arsenal, Gianelli Mbula. Played for Marseille last season, got rave reviews every time he played. All action, defensive midfielder, plays for France even though he's born in Belgium. Snapped up from Marseille by Porto for only £14.5 million. Wouldn't have minded playing second fiddle to Francis Coquelin and possibly could have overtaken Coquelin because this guy's an excellent player. We didn't buy him. Why? At number six, Lars Bender. How many years have we been talking about this guy? Bayer Leverkusen, big imposing defensive midfielder, German international. He's had his injury problems over the years, but he's getting back to his best. Now listen, Leverkusen didn't really want to sell him. But if we would have gone in with a big offer, say £20 million plus, I'm sure we would have been able to have got him. The figures we were being quoted on him was about £80 million. For some reason, we've just completely passed up on him. I really don't get it. I'm sure he would have been a great addition at Arsenal, especially with our German contingent that's already there. At number five, Adrian Rabiot. Only 20 years of age, a top, top prospect over there in France. Now, PSG were willing to sell him. His mum, who is his agent, apparently even rung Arsenal and said, come and get him. But we left it down to deadline day, and for some reason, we decided to pass him up. Second time we passed him up because we were interested in him in January as well. Why didn't we get Adrian Rabiot? Could he have been good enough? We ain't going to know. At number four, this is the one that I think we missed out on big time. Azier Ilaramendi, Real Madrid player. They bought him for a load of money. And when they bought him, we were actually trying to buy him at the same time as well, but they blew us out of the water. They've now sold him back to Rio Sociedad for £14 million. Come on, Arsenal. Surely Ilaramendi would have been a great player to have bought in at Arsenal. Now, of course... He's kind of returned home back to Rio Sociedad where he first started out. But you're not going to tell me that if we hadn't have gone in with a big offer, that he would have opted to have come to Arsenal instead. Champions League football, competitive football. I think we missed out big time on this guy. Good defensively and also brilliant at passing the ball. Azir Ilaramendi would have been a great addition here at Arsenal. At number three, Gregor's Kroczowiak. We were linked with this guy for months. We were told that there was a release clause of 21 million pounds and he was desperate to come to Arsenal. But we divvered, we changed our mind on him. We didn't want to pay the release clause of 21 million pounds. And in the end, he decided on staying at Sevilla. One of the top defensive midfielders in Spain last season was brilliant for Sevilla. One of the reasons why they won the Europa League could he have not have done a job at Arsenal? At number two, Morgan Schneiderlin. 
Left from Southampton and went to Manchester United. Now listen, we were the team that was linked with him all throughout the summer at first. It was said that in January last season that we didn't buy him then because we were going to buy him in the summer. Coquelin had a great season, so we changed our mind apparently. But Schneiderlin, for me, would have been a great addition at Arsenal. He's already started doing very well at Manchester United. And for me, playing alongside Coquelin, being tutored by Arsene Wenger, would only have made him better and better. He would have been a perfect fit, I think, for Arsenal. And at £25 million, I don't think that was too expensive for a player whose stock is rising day by day. Schneiderlin, we definitely missed out on. So we get to number one of the defensive midfielders that Arsenal could have signed. I've given you nine there, but for me, in the number one position is Geoffrey Kondogbia. French international, super talented player, really, really highly thought of over there in France, snapped up by Inter Milan, for £25 million. We were told that the club he really wanted to come to was Arsenal, but we passed up on him. For me, Kondogbia, with his all-action style, would have been absolutely perfect for Arsenal, and both him and Coquelin would have been able to learn together. But unfortunately, we decided not to move for him. So, we're down to what we've got. Francis Coquelin, who's brilliant, Mikel Arteta with all his experience and of course we still have Matthew Flamini. We're going to get behind the boys and hopefully we can go on to bigger and better things. Let's take a look at 10 strikers that Arsenal could have signed in this summer transfer window. At number 10, Paolo Dybala. Moved from Palermo to Juventus for £23.5 million. The guy was hot last season for Palermo, scoring 13 goals. Only 21 years of age, up and coming superstar, they're saying, 